from World of Concrete 2019 here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Folks, I'd like you to meet now Peter Bigwood, who's Vice President of Sales with Brock yes. and Aquajet. Absolutely, that's nice right. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, Roger. How's the show going for you? That's terrific. Really? Yeah, I, I th we feel like World of Concrete has absolutely come back to its former glory really? from pre-08. <laughs> from the 08, 09 yeah. recession. Yes, no. Really? Busy, It took a couple of years, time. didn't it? Yep. It was doldrums around here for a while. <laughs> it was a little quiet, <laughs> but no, we feel it's absolutely buzzing. And well, you can see by the floor traffic, and I'm sure if you're near the show, or, or, or home, whatever, you want to get some idea, the intensity of the show floor yep. is pretty good. Very much pretty so. Pretty good. We're very well, happy. Peter, tell us what you've brought to the show floor this year. Well, very exciting time in, in Brock and AquaJet's history. Um, Brock, which is, the, we're the world leader in demolition robots, we have the lar single largest product launch in the history of our company. We've been around for over 40 years. We're introducing four new models Really? at this show for the U.S., okay. um, ranging from our 170, which is about a 1.6 ton machine, all the way up to the 520, which is about a five ton plus machine. Sure. And the, the key to these machines is that we've taken the, the basic package of these robots, the sort of the envelope, and have, through some jiggery-pokery and black magic, we have <laughs> uh, been able to put larger hammers on them. We've been, been able to upgrade the hammer size so that the same sort of package, same size of, right. of machine is hitting in three cases, 40% harder than its predecessor. And the larger envelope as well? Uh, only in certain dimensions. Okay. So, so the, the biggest news for us is the, the big, the, probably the single of the four is called our B200, which is a whole new size class for us. So it's a slightly heavier machine, but it's got a one size up hammer, but it will still fit through a man door. So the people who are used to using Brock machines for interior demolition, which right. is very common right. application for us, they can now have a machine that used to weigh three tons, now weighs 2.1 tons, and can fit through a door, and that has opened up a lot of new possibilities for people. Tell me a little bit about what's on the horizon for you as far as hydro is concerned. Okay, well, hydro demolition is, is a new area for us. Yes. Uh, we uh, teamed up, we acquired a company called AquaJet, yep. uh, a fellow Swedish company, and we did that about two years ago. Okay. And they are, in their own right, the world leader in hydro demolition. And their robots, which are actually robots, okay. they are tracked machines which you program and with a very high pressure stream of water going through a, right. a controlled lance, remove concrete, and the best part of it is you're removing the concrete in a controlled fashion, but leaving the rebar not only intact, but cleaned and descaled, completely ready for, for the new pour. And, and this is, I'm not gonna say it's revolutionary, hydro demolition has been around for 30 years and, right. and AquaJet right. has been involved in that for that long. But the beauty of it is that combined with the, the electronics, the uh, integrity of the water stream that they have, the way the lance is controlled and manipulated across the surface of the, say, the bridge deck, for example, um, that has now reached a level of sophistication and efficiency which really hasn't been seen before. And then uh, one final thing is that these robots need a power pack, a high pressure pump, right. to provide the water. Yeah, it does, they don't make their own water. Right. And then the other thing that we add is a what's called an EchoClear, which is a water treatment system which is basically a 20-foot container where the slurry the 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 debris the, right, the aggregate right, the water right. goes in one end you pump it in one end and out the other end comes clean ph balanced water no that you can put down a storm drain really yeah and that and and best of all it's all computerized at the end of the day you can print out what you discharged the quality, the pH level, so you can hand that to your customer and say, 
we haven't Here's been messing up environmentally. This Here's is this is all done. So we're not talking strictly demolition in these cases. We're talking a combination of, in some cases, yes, demolition of structures. Yes. Let's say a parking garage or something of that nature, as opposed to a partial demolition to repair and replace. In fact, I believe you have just taken our company slogan. Okay. <laughs> so right. I think we say to protect and replace or protect and repair. Right. But that's exactly right. A Brock machine. So what's the ratio then of, of your, let's say your customers or your jobs? Is there a balance in there at all? Uh, the hydro demolition is a smaller area, but growing very quickly. Really? Yeah. We, we doubled our sales from last, from 17 to 18 and we expect to double them again in 18. 19, in the US now I'm talking. Um, hydro demolition without question uh, because of exactly what you just said. You take a parking garage, you don't want to tear the whole thing down. Right, right. But you want to take the four inches <laughs> that, that top off layer. the top yeah. and pour new. Right. Bridge decks yeah, is I would where we live. Yeah. It is an absolute fantastic application. Right. You, you can, you know, for 10X, you take the bridge down and put up a new. Right. For 5X, you take it down to the frame, the steel beams. Right. For 1X, you take four inches of concrete off the top in a consistent way and pour new. And that's what a DOT is going to do right. more often than not. Because right. why wouldn't you? Cost savings. Absolutely. A tremendous cost savings. Yeah, really. Absolutely. And time and functionality. Yes, and, and of course you can keep lanes open while right. you're doing right. it. Right, so absolutely. That's, that's big. That's big. So that's well you bring an interesting message. You got some interesting products. Your booth is where located? It's, here? Uh, right here in the central hall, just okay. a few a few feet from here. C forty two forty nine. Okay. Certainly stop by, say hello to Peter and his folks over there Absolutely. at that booth. And I want to tell you, it's been a real pleasure. Roger. Learning experience for me. Thank you so much. You've been, You're more uh, than you've welcome. been a wonderful audience. Thank Peter you. Peter Bigwood. Thank you very Rick much. Brock, here at World of Concrete 2019.